Good morning, my darlings. Actually, good afternoon. A very peculiar time for me to start my vlog, but today has just been getting away with me, or from me. Um, we have got Kat here today, so it is a busy shoot day, and I just had to pick up the camera to share with you this gorgeous tablescape that we have just created. I have been taking full credit for actually one of Charlie's pasta recipes. We had this recipe, um, we had this dish when we were in Kefalonia and everyone absolutely loved it. So we thought we'd film a nice little reel to share how to do the pasta dish. What are you going to call it, darling? Pasta alla Charlie. It was, it's, it's just like a, a kitchen garden pasta. Kitchen garden pasta. Because the tomatoes, the basil and the courgette are from our kitchen garden. Mm -hmm. And I guess in a way, it's the sort of pasta dish that say you're, you're super hungry but you're in a rush and you have, you do grow your own veg, you can use a lot of different veg in this. Yeah. So like we could, in th you could definitely do one with aubergine or butternut squash, you know. We should do um, a winter version as well, like a pumpkin version well, of it. It depends what we're growing, but that's what I mean. It can adapt as the seasons adapt with what you're growing in your kitchen garden. Lovely, with, let me show you. Some Dale's food sauces. Bits and bobs. This is our, here's Katarine looking very glam in your Hello. sunglasses. Oh, it's so good. It's so toasty today. We thought it was going to be pouring with rain, so we zipped about this morning, but it's been absolutely glorious. Mm. And this is, you'll have to check out the reel to see it in its full glory, but Charlie's Kitchen Garden Pasta. How is it? Mm. So Tutto good. Bene? Really, really nice. Would yeah. Wolfie approve? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Good way of probably sneaking veg to your mm. children mm. as well, including mm. my children. Hello. Silly boy. <laughs> this is a lovely new table linen from Dalesford. And we have got some snippings from yesterday's hedge, uh, hedge trimming, just as a little bit of table decoration. I'm going to dig in and I'll catch up with you later. <laughs> hours and a few dresses later and the shoot day is done. I don't know why I always find them a little bit stressful. It's just lots of things to remember and when we're shooting it's always so back to back that then there's stuff everywhere which stresses Charlie out as well. We did have a little catastrophe today as well where I accidentally dropped one of the antique vases with flowers in it. Um, we did capture the moment on camera so I might be able to share it with you here. I'm going to blame Dexy because he got under my feet when I was coming out the doorway but it's half past three now, shooting is done. I'm going to do a quick half an hour tidy up, whiz around, do a quick tidy up. I'd love to get into the garden this afternoon, but because I have been shooting all day, it means my inbox is going to be in need of a little bit of attention as well. Are you going to help mommy with some tidying up, Dickie? No, I'm going to pretend I didn't hear you, actually. Okay, you're propped up on my favourite temporary tripod, the coffee machine. I was going to make myself a coffee, but then I realised it's now ten past four after doing tidying, and if I have a coffee after, I would say after 2.30, it really impacts my sleeping, so I'm going to refrain from having a coffee this afternoon, as much as I feel like I could very much do with one. Had a few deliveries today. This first one... I believe, well, it has arrived from sofa.com. Escape into the bliss, discover our autumn winter collection, our teddy sofa, which you can just see in the corner there, our lovely, very comfortable green sofa in our living room is from sofa.com and it is just so gorgeous and Charlie and I joke that we could never replace it because Dickens, in fact, he's there now. <laughs> This is just his safe place, and it does mean we have to plump the pillows up every five minutes, but it is, it, it's his absolute favourite comfortable spot. Um, and yeah, it works really well with the room. It was one of, it's actually one of the only bits of furniture, this sounds bonkers, but it's one of the only bits of furniture that we chose when we first moved in that we still absolutely love, because so many pieces we've maybe replaced or plan to replace because our tastes and our style have just changed so much since we moved but getting this lovely green set with the footstool has been such a wonderful decision. So I think sofa.com have sent over this lovely box full of autumnal treats to celebrate the launch of their autumn winter collection. So it looks like we have got some new fabric swatches here. This top one is very appealing to me. Let's see what this is called. This is Smart Velvet and the colour is Meadow. That is absolutely stunning. It's got like a really subtle sheen to it. Hmm, <laughs> I'm trying to think what bits of furniture 
or where we could add something in this gorgeous colour. Not everyone is as obsessed with green as we are. I love their pink tones as well. The Verti chairs that I've got outside my dressing room are from sofa.com. This is the colour Cosmopolitan. It's a very, very beautiful shade of pink. In fact, it reminds me of, in this cupboard above you, I've got my Wild Nutrition <laughs> sachets. It's a very similar colour. Oh my gosh! Almost identical. Kat and I were just saying how she spotted it when I was making a cup of tea for her. Um, how gorgeous the colour of this box is. These are amazing, by the way, major side note, but I was finding when we were travelling over the last couple of months, we've been travelling quite a bit, Abu Dhabi, Kefalonia, a few other places, and I kept forgetting to take my vitamins with me. These are all of the essential vitamins for women um, in a very handy pouch. So I think you get four omegas, two magnesium, is it two magnesium? Sorry, four omegas, two daily multi-nutrients, and one vitamin D, which is what is recommended for women, especially if you don't eat fish, which I don't. Um, it's amazing to get your omega supplements in there. Wild Nutrition is now the only vitamin supplement brand that I use, and I absolutely adore them, and I'm obsessed with them, and I believe I have a discount code, so I'll leave that linked down below. But yes, <laughs> that was, this is what that colour reminded me of. We've got a navy, which looks wonderful in so many people's homes, but is personally not um, my personal preference. This lovely mustardy terracotta, which I think is gorgeous, looks really lovely in our drawing room. This colour, very warm. <gasps> Boucle, oh, that's gorgeous. This is called Oyster, and it is a textured fabric that is so cosy. And then this one is called Palm, and it is a silky, Jacquard, ooh, <gasps> that is stunning. Can you see, this is kind of like a, ooh, this might just be my favorite. It's like a green and kind of champagne-y chevron herringbone. That is absolutely stunning. <gasps> what can we create, envisage? I think most of the things on sofa.com, this is not an ad by the way, but big sofa.com fan over here. Um, most of the bits of furniture that they do, you can, and doing all of their different fabrics so it's really lovely to see their new autumn collection these two being my favorites and they have also popped in how lovely is this the tartan blanket company a pair of gorgeously soft cashmere socks <gasps> mm, beautiful oh a little bottle of muet oh that is so funny I have got this book in my Amazon basket right now, Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow, a novel by Gabrielle Zevin. I believe it's about um, two, this didn't, didn't initially sound like it was up my street, but they were talking about it on the Sherlock's Lux podcast and I thought it sounded really good. I believe they're two video game engineers that fall in love and it follows their story, but it's had such amazing reviews and um, all the books that I read in Kefalonia, by the way, were amazing. Couldn't recommend them any more highly. All the books by J.P. Delaney. Um, Sharp Objects was incredible. I actually gave up on the Marianne Keys book. I feel like because after, and I love Marianne Keys, but after reading those two more serious books, I wasn't really in the mood for a chick lit. I hate saying that. <laughs> so I actually then read David Attenborough's A Life on This Planet, which was almost made me cry a few times. It's a very impactful book and I feel like it's the kind of book that everyone should read. It's very, it does end on a positive note. It's like, look, we can actually make some changes to save our planet, but when he was talking about animals that have become extinct and the things that we've been doing that could potentially be irreversible, yeah, highly recommend that. So I'd add all of those and this to your end of summer reading list. I've got a feeling that this wasn't meant to be in the sofa.com box. I think it might have just ended up in there. <laughs> it's my skin and me. Yes, I have definitely got a feeling that quite a few of my post has ended up all in this sofa.com box. Living Proof Triple Bond Complex Hair Strengthener. That sounds amazing. Ooh, competition. <laughs> Something that sounds fairly similar from Philip Kingsley, Bond Rebuilder a restorative oil. I guess you could use them both side by side and then have super strong hair. Well, this sounds rather lovely. This is a Matthew Williamson scented candle and it's called the English Garden Candle. Oh, I can smell it already. 
something else in green. I feel like this is going to be a really good kitchen candle because that certainly smells like it's going to be one of those scents that's going to cut through cooking smells. This is definitely quite a few different deliveries that have all got muddled up and <laughs> not all from the sofa.com box. We've got some bits here from Laura Mercier, the new Rose Glow Collection for Subtle Natural Dewiness. That sounds very up my street. The Translucent Setting Powder. Sheer lip, very deep autumnal color. That is more up my street. This one is called Crystal Rose. I'm gonna have to give this a go. That looks absolutely gorgeous. I hope it's balmy. Ooh. I was not expecting that to be so balmy. That is absolutely gorgeous. I can only see in my tiny viewfinder, but that is lovely. And what gorgeous, sleek rose gold packaging. That, I feel like, could become a new favorite. And then we've got blush color infusion. Oh, I love the packaging of all of these products. That is such a lovely blush color. And I have not switched up my blush in a long time. So thank you. Laura Mercier. And then the last bits in my box, <laughs> my sofa.com box, we have got some jewellery here from Missima. What do we have? Ooh, <gasps> this is their new collection. Oh my gosh, really beautiful, bold colours and almost like they look like traditional gemstones, like emeralds and rubies. Don't know if you can see that very clearly, but it's just such a traditional kind of gemstone shape on a delicate little hoop. Love that. Oh my gosh, such gorgeous colours, especially with chunky knitwear at this time of year. Ooh, oh my gosh, the most stunning necklace, which there is no chance my camera's going to focus on. Um, but in this lovely amber colour, this necklace I've been wearing non stop lately is also Missima. And then, oh my gosh. This is going to be so nice for layering. You've got a slightly thicker style chain with the same style of gemstone on it. Oh my gosh. I feel like that is my autumn jewellery kicked off in the most spectacular way. What a wonderful selection of goodies. One more delivery. This one is from Shantikai. We're delighted to gift you our new, I'm sure that says Cougar collection, an elegant palette of neutral, an elegant palette and neutral lips. The collection supports the Yellowstone Fever, supports the Yellowstone Forever Initiative, I think that's what this says, which is home to the endangered cougar. I might have read that wrong. I'm not very good at transcribing handwriting. We've got this lovely little pouch. Oh gosh, we're gonna be spoiled for choice of lipsticks here. This says it's a hydrating, smoothing hydrating lipstick with hyaluronic acid for lips that look brilliantly glossy and Plumped. I'm gonna test all of these throughout this vlog. So if you are looking for the perfect, comfortable, everyday autumn lip balm, I'm gonna let you know. Chantecai versus Laura Mercier versus my By Terry favorites. I love the Chantecai lip sheiks. Ooh. <gasps> and Code 8 also do some really amazing hydrating lip balms. That is stunning. I'm gonna wear this all day tomorrow. We can compare it to the Laura Mercier one that I've got on now. Look at this packaging. That I didn't actually know that that's what a cougar looked like. Wow. Cougars are North America's most elusive big cats. Their habitats are shrinking. This is what David Attenborough was talking about in his book. We are proud to support Yellowstone forever, that's what it said, and their efforts to protect these majestic creatures in the wild. That is amazing. I'm going to read up more about what Shantikai actually doing with Yellowstone Forever. It was really interesting. They were actually, David Attenborough in his book was saying how by reintroducing wolves back into Yellowstone National Park, um, it actually helped the entire ecosystem because the wolves kept down the deer numbers, which meant that the uh, land where the deers roam was able to regenerate quicker, grass was able to grow back quicker, um, which supported the insects and the bugs. It's just such a big cycle. And just by introducing wolves back into Yellowstone, it improved the entire ecosystem. That is a gorgeous and very me eyeshadow palette. Sorry about the coffee machine bright green reflection. Beautiful neutrals in the most stunning palette. This is meant to be a really quick unboxing and I've been filming for 18 minutes. And actually after a day shooting, um, I can't wait to take my makeup off and I think I'm actually going to have a late afternoon 
bath just to reset myself and then do a little bit more work this evening on my laptop. Okay, we are back up in the bathroom and this is my favorite part of a shoot day. The symbolization that it's all done is when I scrape my hair back and tie my makeup up. Scrape my hair back and take my makeup off. I've remembered that there's something that I didn't tell you guys about our return from Kefalonia and I'm just about to check the update on it. Basically, we still to this moment, having been back in the country for five days now, still do not have our luggage back. The luggage that we put in the hold of the aeroplane um, is currently somewhere in Heathrow Airport. Luckily, do you remember I told you about the Apple Air tags? Could not recommend them any more highly. Pause the video right now and I'll leave them linked down below. Go and add Apple Air tags to your Amazon basket and get them because they have been such a um, reassurance that we know where our suitcases are. Okay, so my luggage, as of 59 minutes ago, because the air tags run off other people's iPhone signal, so if there's no one with an iPhone nearby, then it won't work, but there's always someone with an iPhone nearby. Apparently, my luggage is currently sitting in Heathrow T5. British Airways have promised that they're gonna deliver it back to us, um, but that is yet to happen. However, I can see that my hand luggage is with me. I also put an air tag in my hand luggage just just in case. Um, so yes, that's the situation. Apparently there was some kind of computer fault when we got back to the airport and we could either wait for like five hours and still there'd be a chance of it not arriving or we could go home and they deliver it to us. So that's the situation, but I've got a lot, lot of lovely Zimmerman dresses in there um, and other gorgeous bits. So I really hope that um, they get it back to us before too long. Anyway, I'm gonna take my makeup off. My makeup has lasted very well today. So I'm going to take my makeup off in my normal way, which is my face halo and then my Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. I'm nearly finished my rose one. Oh, or did I finish it last night? Oh no. <laughs> I still, ooh, still have a little bit left of my Rose Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm and then I'm going to switch over to my full size of the Summer Bloom Edition. Um, while I'm taking off my makeup, I'm going to run a bath because Pilates yesterday was tough and I feel like I need it um, and it will just help to reset me ready to crack on with more productive stuff this evening. Ever since getting back from holiday, my skin is in need of any nourishment that it can possibly get. So I'm going to use the Elemis Skin Nourishing Bath Milk. This, if you imagine, just like filling your bath with the most silky, smoothing, soothing, milky liquid, you could almost get away without putting a body lotion on afterwards because of how soft this makes your skin when you are in a bath. Um, so I absolutely love that, love the smell. I also love the Elemis Muscle Soak, but Charlie finished that last night, which I'm very annoyed about. So instead of using the Muscle Soak, which I probably could have done with, I've got the Muscle Balm. It was actually our chiropractor that introduced us to this because Charlie goes really hard in the gym um, and often has achy glutes or achy quads. Um, I get achy, especially if I've been hunched over on my laptop all day, around the top of my back and the base of my neck. So sometimes I literally just like to put a little bit of this on my hands feels amazing as well, it really warms up and just give myself like a little massage but it's more important that you just get this balm on your skin. You could almost put like a little tub of this in your handbag and have a little me moment at like 4pm in the afternoon if you've been hunched over your desk for a long time. You can put that on before you have your bath and then you really get to experience the aromas while you're bathing. Oh, I can instantly feel it. Oh my gosh, that is heavenly. So if you get achy shoulders or achy muscles from any particular workout, also if you've been on your feet for a long day, I know some of my friends are doing the London Marathon, I'm going to treat them to this because covering your feet in this after a day on your feet or running a marathon would just be absolute heaven. Before I go any further and take off my makeup, a little reminder of my epic Elemis discount code Josie F. 25 for 25% 25 off all of my favorites, all of your favorites. I'll leave all the info down below, but basically all you need to know is Josie F 25 on the Elemis website. So perfect excuse to stock up on your favorites, any of the pampering bits I've just recommended. Also, 
of course, the Rose Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm, which I'm about to apply. Always keep your head held up high. Pretty little thing. You're a diamond in the rough. I would actually normally go in with my cleansing balm straight after using my face halo, but today, because I've had a lot of makeup on from shooting, I'm going to do a quick swipe over with micellar water as well. This is the LMS micellar water, or cleansing micellar water, um, and this is what I use in the mornings as well. When I wake up, I just do a quick swipe over of micellar water on a reusable cotton pad just heard Charlie giving directions to someone on the phone, so I'm fingers crossed praying it might be British Airways with our luggage. That's the state of my cotton pad after cleanse number two. If you have not tried this product before, then boy oh boy are you in for a treat. You basically get three main sensorial experiences, so it starts off by really nourishing the skin as this gorgeous balm. I probably apply more than I need to, but it's just so lovely. I like to massage this in, um, and then it transforms into a lovely, silky, luxurious oil, which of course is fantastic for cleansing the skin, pulling up any dirt and grime from the day, any makeup remnants. It would get rid of your makeup, but I prefer to use its goodness for deeply cleansing the skin um, and take the makeup off in the ways that I showed you a second ago. I can tell that you're tough. And then you can see once you add water, it turns into a milk, which is just super hydrating and further cleansing for the skin. So three experiences in one. And now my skin is beautifully cleansed. I keep a separate towel that is purely for my face. I don't even I don't even dry my hands on this towel because I want it to be so beautifully clean. And now while I'm waiting for the bath to fill up, I'm going to enjoy the Elemis Pro Collagen Eye Patches. If little fine lines and maybe dullness around the eyes is something which you would like to just improve on a little bit, these are the best in the game. I think they're probably the originals as well. Maybe not the first, but certainly the first eye patches that I ever tried and still to this day the best. If I can get into them. If you're not familiar with the Pro Collagen range from Elemis, it's basically all about um, targeting those first signs of aging. So if, like me, the eye area is your main area of concern, this could be the place to start. Especially after a long haul flight, after a long day, or if you've got a big day coming up, probably should have done these before the shoot day because they really do visibly brighten and refresh a tired under eye. Right, you're not going to be able to hear me now because I'm going to turn the bath taps on. So I will see you after my pampering. Order in a cup of love, feel it rising up and above. You will always keep my heart and soul strong. Plant your seeds and watch them grow. The light will always know where to go. After a heavenly bath and a busy shoot day, I was not in the mood for cooking, so I've got one of my all plants meals tonight. This is the lentil and chutney chana bowl. Ooh. <laughs> Dog's having a mad moment. And these are just super delicious uh, chef-made plant-based meals, which we keep in the freezer. It's basically the Cotswolds solution to not having delivery out here. Um, and this is one of my favorites. I couldn't even be bothered to wait for it in the oven tonight, so I did it in the microwave. I've created a nice little tablescape for an Instagram story that I'm gonna to post to share that the All Plants Autumn Meals are now on the website. So this one has got rice and lentils, garlic spinach, yum, roasted sweet potato and butternut squash topped with spiced toasted cashews and a chickpea smash. It smells absolutely delicious, making my mouth water. And I thought I would make the most of the tablescape, which is still out here from our snapping at lunchtime. Got plenty of beans, both purple and green variety from the garden. Lilla cooked with some of the purple ones yesterday and she said as soon as they hit the water they turn green so magic little beans and this little vine of tomatoes which snapped off. I'm going to pop these in the fridge and we can make some nice recipes with these over the rest of the week. 
Good morning, my darlings. A very quick start to the vlog. I woke up late this morning, so I had about half an hour to get myself ready to head into London. I'm a little bit late for my train. I like to give myself a good 10 minutes to park and get to the platform, but at the moment I've got four minutes and I'm currently at the traffic lights of doom. These are the traffic lights where you can either make or break your journey into London because you can be sat here for five minutes. So I'm hoping they are just changing now, hallelujah. Um, I've got a couple of meetings in London today and I'm also going to see, first thing, Dr. Yanis. Camera might move. Don't go red, 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 yay! Yay, yay, yay. Okay, made it very, very quickly. So I have got an appointment with Dr. Yanis, who is the founder, one of the founders of 111 Skin this morning, because I have, I think I've mentioned before, these little under skin bumps on my nose which you can barely see to be honest but they do make me so quite self-conscious so i'm just gonna he's an absolute expert in dermatology um i believe he's also a plastic surgeon i think he's the right person that i fully fully trust is such an expert um, and will be able to make some good recommendations to me whether i have to get them lasered off cut out who knows but for our wedding next year I would like a bump free schnoz, <laughs> basically. Then I've got a couple of meetings, might do a bit of shopping in between, might end up sitting with a coffee somewhere doing some work. And then, at five o'clock at the end of the day, I'm going to see Dr. Tom and I'm getting my Invisalign fitted, which I'm so excited about. This is the weirdest thing ever, but I quite like the feeling of having Invisalign in. It's almost like a dummy to me. It's just, it actually relaxes me having this sounds so weird, but having something in my mouth. I used to suck my thumb as a child, um, and I just don't think that that psychological thing of, this sounds so weird, having something in my mouth has gone away. Um, so I miss my Invisalign. That's not why I'm having it. I'm having it because um, I would like my overjet to be ever so slightly further corrected, but I will tell you more about that later. I realised actually my train is at 33, not 23, so I do have a little bit more time. But anyway, let's get to London. Okay, I'll fill you guys in on my 111 appointment with Dr. Yanis when I get home. But first of all, I have just walked into Selfridges and look at this tiny baby little bulgari bag in the raffia. <gasps> it's the most adorable thing I think I've ever seen in my life. Totally pointless, of course, but adorable nonetheless. They've also given the Defender in the menswear section a bit of new branding. They've sprayed it a light blue and Kaiser Clark, must be a menswear brand, have sponsored the redecoration. May you always find your way to higher ground. May you always well, hello my darlings, it's time we had a little catch up. I will apologise now for any lisp, lisp? <laughs> why the word lisp cannot be said when you have a lisp will always be a mystery to me, but as you might be able to guess, I now have my Invisalign in. I've spent the last about 45 minutes with Dr. Tom on Harley Street, and I didn't realise that we actually had to do a little bit of filing down in between um, most of my top teeth. And then I've also had little clips put on, I think about six different teeth, all part of the master plan to perfect my overjet and straighten out my teeth as the, um, as part of my Invisalign journey. As I think I mentioned before, I have had Invisalign or something similar before, so I knew what I was getting myself into. I found last time that the lisp <laughs> lasted only two or three days, so it shouldn't be this bad for too much longer and obviously at the moment I'm quite conscious of having something new in my mouth so I'm probably doing slightly weird things with my lips but I don't think that'll last too long either I find that you get used to it really really quickly so probably in the next vlog you won't even be able to tell that I've got it in um, but I have got a 
14 week supply here. I'm gonna be changing my brace every week for the next 14 weeks. And then I think I'll see Dr. Tom again. Um, we'll see if any changes need to be made and then I'll get another 14 weeks and then we'll finish with some composite bonding to create the perfect smile. I trust Dr. Tom so much. He's so lovely. He goes, he spends a lot of time going through everything in so much detail so that I'm really comfortable with what we're doing. Um, so I am gonna leave his details down below because he really is so lovely. I think we are just approaching Marlborough yeah, train station going. now. So I'm gonna catch yeah. up with you again when we get home. Good morning, my darlings. I was planning on ending the vlog last night, but I did not <laughs> talk to you when I got home, so I thought I would do a little um, recap on yesterday's events. I'm still not quite used to having the plastic in my mouth again, so I feel like I've still got a bit of a lisp and I'm still doing slightly strange things. That was a sentence full of S's. <laughs> That's the most challenging sentence ever. Um, yeah, I'm still doing slightly strange things with my mouth, but I will get used to it. I've barely had the brace for 12 hours and I have put some lip balm on today, so I'm probably gonna end up with lip balm all over my brace, but we will we'll get used to these things. So I didn't even catch you up on my lovely lunch. Went to the Hive restaurant with the girls from Galan. Galan have actually worked with the Hive restaurant in Selfridges, which is such a perfect match. Obviously Galan so known for their use of honey, the work they do for protecting the bees. They've actually got beehives on the roof of Selfridges right opposite the Hive restaurant. So you can go and uh, see the see the bees in action if you would like to. I learned that um, a typical bee will only live for five weeks, whereas a queen bee can live for seven years, which is just incredible. Yeah, amazing menu, really delicious, highly recommend a trip there. And then I went to Townhouse and got my nails done, that lovely natural colour. They always do such good nail prep there, like there is literally not a cuticle in sight. Wonderful. This is, they call this color, I think, Beaufort Gardens, but if you can't get to Townhouse and you want this color, it is the gel bottle color, nude. <laughs> so then I went to see Dr. Tom on 80 Harley Street and got my Invisalign. So I was in the chair for about 45 minutes. Uh, first of all, taking off the retainer wire that I had behind my teeth that Dr. Tom put on a couple of years ago. I was just listening to the Nearly Weds podcast the whole time because I just hate the noise of drilling because it makes me feel like there's something scary going on in my mouth even though you literally can't feel anything. Um, so I had to just stop myself from laughing out loud because Jamie and Sophie in this podcast is just absolutely hilarious and... I had my mouth clamped open and yet I couldn't stop laughing from this podcast. So I definitely recommend taking some earphones next time you go to see the dentist. Um, so yeah, we took off my retainer wire. We um, added the little hooks onto my teeth. So a few of my teeth now have these little teeth colored hooks, which is gonna help move the teeth. If I can actually, I'll pop a little video on the screen here where you can see the very subtle movement that my teeth are gonna go through. So a little bit of straightening, very subtle straightening, but mostly reducing that overjet, which is what I've always wanted to do. And then I was presented. Oh, and as well as obviously the notches going on, I also had a little bit of filing in between the teeth done so that there is room for them to slot into the right place. Now I've got my Invisalign goodie bag, <laughs> including, I need to take this with me everywhere now. This is my little um, container. So when I'm eating, I will put my brace in here. Um, you have to wear Invisalign for at least 23 hours a day. So take it out when you're eating and then go and brush your teeth and then straight away pop it back in your mouth. Every, I will be changing my actual braces. And by the way, I'll show you what they look like. I'll show you next week's. Um, they are so thin. So hopefully later in this vlog, I won't have a lisp at all. Very, very, in case you've never seen Invisalign before. Can you see they're just super thin, like plastic retainers. So you can barely see that they're there. It's just amazing that these are so powerful at moving your teeth. Because you only wear each retainer for one week, you really don't need to worry about taking it out if you're having a cup of coffee. Um, this morning I had my coffee and my smoothie and I didn't take my retainer out. I drink really slowly, so if I wanna take my retainer out when I'm eating, then 
that's eating away into the hours that I can get away with not wearing it. Obviously, the more you wear it, the better. It takes me probably an hour <laughs> to drink my morning coffee. As long as I brush my teeth afterwards and maybe take a gulp of water after each swig of coffee, it's not gonna stain the brace. And even if it does, it's not the end of the world because every Wednesday I'm gonna be changing my brace anyway to a brand new one. But I will be taking this with me for any proper meals um, and take a little toothbrush in my handbag as well. So I think by April next year, I should be completely done with the brace progress process hopefully and then we'll finish with some whitening and with some bonding so yeah just wanted to end with a little bit of an explanation as i said couldn't recommend tom any more highly such a nice guy lovely clinic so perfectly located on harley street really easy if you get the train into marlebone you don't even need to live in london it's definitely worth a trip you can then walk to Selfridges and treat yourself to a bit of shopping afterwards and he's just so professional and makes you feel so at ease unlike the scary dentists that I remember from my childhood so yeah anyway darlings I am going to end the vlog here and straight away start the next one and so yeah I hope you're well and I'll see you very soon